Hey, I'm due for another trip, you know what I'm saying? Another adventure. Even living in paradise gets tiring, let me tell you. But it gotta be out the country. Domestic flights are getting boring, plus my passport's looking mighty lonely. I know it might be a little hard to distinguish where I'm at just by looking at these visuals, but I'll give you a two word clue. Pura Vida. Pura Vida! Oh shit, got the camera wet. Oh boy, I had a feeling that was gonna happen too. Damn, this camera's not even waterproof, bro. So there's a rumor about coming to Costa Rica. And it goes like, supposedly, if you come here and you don't say the words Pura Vida at least once a day, your trip is discredited. Three things I gotta do in Costa Rica. One, gotta go to the jungle and see a monkey in the wild and film it. Two, I gotta go see a waterfall. Three, we gotta see a volcano, ideally an active volcano, so it makes it a little more exciting. When you're out of town, especially out the country, you gotta try out the local typical food. We found this one restaurant nearby that we ate at at least five times. Just looking at the footage right now is getting me hungry. All the things I would do for those mashed potatoes right about now. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta go eat, I'll be right back. We stay right outside of San Jose for the first three nights to get a taste of the city and to mingle with the people. Through Instagram, I linked up with a local biker who turned out to be a real cool dude. We got some badass BMX footage. His name is Chisa. Check him out. Yo, that was raw. Shout out to Chisa and his boy, man. They killed it, bro. That was fun. I had fun making that, bro. That was fun. So how about the next day, Nino came through with a gem. She was super nice and easy to work with. Hola, amigos y amigas. ¿Qué tal? Soy Sharon Lee desde Costa Rica. Pura vida. Hoy me encuentro trabajando con Nino y Matthew en una gran sesión de fotos. One, two, three. Baby, 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 don't you know yet? 
been on a high ever since we met. I just smile so wide when I look in your eyes. Yeah, I cannot control what's happening inside. Costa Rica, pura vida, eh, estamos en temporada de verano y qué mejor pasarla ahí en sus volcanes o en las playas con nosotros los ticos. Bienvenidos todos y los esperamos a estas grandes fiestas. So far the trip is going great, everything is looking good, but things are about to get real wild. We're going to the jungle. So check it out, man. We're on the way to Hako Beach from San Jose, the capital. It's like a two hour drive with traffic. Traffic's pretty crazy. And we're cutting through the jungle, so it's like you just got one way in, one way out for the most part. But first, on the way here, I heard about some crocodile bridge, and it's on the way from San Jose to Hako. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna see what it's about, man. But supposedly, it's um basically a bridge, and under it, there's like a river. And there's always like a ton of crocodiles. So that's what I heard. So let's check it out. So we approaching Crocodile River. I'm sorry, Crocodile Bridge. And I already see it from here. A ton of people on the bridge, cars. This is like the parking and stuff. Yeah, I see a lot of people on the bridge. This is it. We made it. Whoa. Yeah, we got it. So check it out, man. We made it here to Crocodile Bridge. This shit's real. I'm already looking at like five crocodiles right now. Holy shit. The thing about it is like a small path to walk to. So it's like, it's kind of crazy, man. Check it out. I don't know what's worse right now. Getting hit by one of these passing cars or falling in the water with these crocs. Either way, I'm about to kick in the Nat Geo mode. Or better yet, Matt Geo mode. Man, it's amazing out here. It's like being in Africa. These crocs are humongous and they're in the wild living it up. 
you see these crocs right here right you think these ones are big bruh check out this freaking monster right here i found out he goes by the name of tyson a local construction worker saw me filming and he told me the guy even offered to take me down there to get a closer look that's where he worked at but i was wearing sandals so i told him no I stayed filming and taking pics of the Crocs for who knows how long. As a matter of fact, we stopped at this bridge twice, once on the way to Hako Beach and again on the way back to the city, which were two different days. There's no way I'm going to drive over a crocodile infested bridge and not stop and see the Crocs. So yo, check it out. We made it to Crocodile Bridge. This place is insane. I'm right now looking at 10 crocodiles. Some of them are like 15, 20 feet. I saw one crocodile snap at a bird already. I seen some iguanas. I'm looking, it's crazy out here, bro. This thing is like we in the jungle, bro. Well, actually, we are in the jungle. The cool thing about this area was there wasn't only wild crocs. There was also iguana and other lizards, as well as birds, and one of the animals I always wanted to see in the wild. I've seen people have them as pets, but never did I think I would see wild macaw parrots just flying around freely with one another. At some point I noticed a bunch of white dots moving in from afar. I couldn't tell what they were, so I went to get a closer look, and sure enough, it was a herd of cows, and they were heading in the direction of the crocodiles. Oh boy. But nothing ever happens. Seems as if the cows were aware of the crocs. I'm sure the crocs have caught one of them slipping before. Check this out. How about as I was going through the footage of the crocs, I noticed something extremely random and hilarious, but potentially scary. Take a look at this clip and tell me how many crocs do you see? If you answered five, you're wrong. There's actually six. Now, can somebody explain to me what in the hell is a croc sandal doing laying next to a real freaking croc? Is this a marketing scheme or did someone get eaten by a croc? Okay, okay, after doing some research, it appears the sandal is not a croc. It's some sort of knockoff brand. But either way, I need some answers. Anyways, it's now been four days in Costa Rica and we're about to dive even deeper into the jungle. I need to see some more wilderness. Pura vida! Before coming to Costa Rica, I did some research trying to find out what was the rawest place to visit. And everyone seemed to mention this one spot called Manuel Antonio National Park. 
But they all lied. This wasn't no national park. Bro, this was on some Jurassic Park. So check it out, we made it to Manuel Antonio National Park, but we're running kind of low on time. We got one hour to see monkeys, beaches, sloths, snakes, crabs, lizards. But uh, yeah, let's go. As soon as we got in the park, I started spotting animals left and right. But it wasn't until I saw a monkey that I realized, we're in the jungle. This is unreal right now. I'm here up close and personal with a wild monkey and he's just ignoring me. Does he not have an Instagram or YouTube account? The park is raw, it's like a jungle beach. I find it interesting because I've never been to a spot where the jungle meets the beach, so that was new to me. I also thought it was cool how the people and animals coexist here, but I didn't have much time to enjoy it. I had my eyes set on conquering that freaking massive jungle rock that's somehow attached to the beach. Look how crazy it looks, like something out of Jurassic Park. Let's go explore it. Now here we are in the jungle and you'll never imagine in your wildest dreams the creatures we come across. So I'm following my friend and bruh all of a sudden a wild group of cougars appear out of nowhere. And it wasn't just one, it was four of them. And they were all wearing bikinis. Mm -hmm. He's like, mm-hmm.
But yeah, so far I've seen a bunch of monkeys, a bunch of crabs, some spiny tail iguanas, but no freaking slot yet. So that's the mission. Before we go, we gotta see a slot. I don't know, we're kinda running late on time. We got like an hour before the park closes. One hour exactly, so let's see. Can you see it from there? Yeah. It's like a... Like a hand wheel, huh? Oh shit, there goes a slot. Yeah. Just kidding. Hi. Ah, taking a quick break in the middle of the freaking jungle. I'm digging it, man. I could be here all day, but unfortunately it closes like in 20 minutes, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be looking for us, trying to kick us out. But I'm cool if we get stuck in here for the night. So at some point I started getting tired. The freaking jungle seemed to go on forever. Bruh, how do we get out of here? Well eventually we found our way out, you know we survived. And guess what the reward was? Another jungle beach, but this one looked like paradise. Definitely one of the prettiest beaches I've ever seen. See these dinosaurs right here? The beach was full of them, and they were all friendly. I used to have one of these lizards as a pet, and I've seen them other places too, but never this approachable. They're called spiny tail iguanas, and they're normally not the friendliest, but here in Costa Rica, they're super laid back, just like the people. Now, the only thing I didn't like about the park was it closes early at four o'clock, so we had to get going. But I hadn't seen a slot, so I was going to ask for my money back. And as I was walking back to the ticket counter, guess what I saw? A freaking deer. Once I saw the deer, I was like, alright, I guess I got my money's worth here. But I still had a feeling I might see a slot. So I kept looking in the trees, because I know they spend the majority of their time hanging upside down in them. And what do you know, right near the park exit, I spotted a slot all the way up in the trees. Yeah, buddy. Mission complete, bro. We saw monkeys, we saw iguanas, I saw a snake. I saw a deer-like thing, I saw a rat-like anteater, and I saw the freaking slot. It was from far, but it was a slot. So now I'm walking to a little V I was staying at, which was right next to the park entrance, literally like 200 feet away. And guess what animal I see in the freaking garbage? So after watching them for just a few minutes, I peeped their operation. It's pretty simple. Form a line and one monkey serves his plate at a time. They probably have some type of seniority, like maybe the oldest ones eat first or something like that. So it turns out this whole Manuel Antonio area is full of monkeys. And that's exactly what I came for, that wildlife, Pura Vida. Hello, 
señores y señores, ladies and gentlemen, de Miami Son Machine, vamos a hacer el, el original mojito. Mmm, mojito para Miami. Ok, vamos a hacer un buen negocio, pon atención. Toma el menú mío, ese es mi menú. Le ponemos dos sillas, dos sombrillas. Eh, una sombrilla, la silla y la mesa y le llevamos todo lo que es comida del restaurante al frente para allá. Y si queremos pura vida. Es pura vida todo el día. Y piscina de cortesía al frente. I'm just now realizing what that guy meant when he said there's a pool out front. Anyways, we had a long day. We started in Jaco, which was like two hours away. And when we got here to Manuel Antonio, we had to quickly check into our room and hurry to the park before it closed which as you saw turned out super raw. It was all worth it. But the adventure's not over yet. Tomorrow, we're gliding through the jungle. Oh boy, see what the hell I'm getting myself into. What did I just sign up for? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I'm getting myself into something. So check it out. They got these canopy bikes, right? That you just glide through the forest, through the jungle. And you can see like animals and stuff. And you move at your own pace. It has like a brake and a gas. So it's not like super fast. And um, it's pretty freaking cool. It's perfect for taking pictures and videos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna check it out. Listo? Yo, how cool is this, bro? I'm literally just hanging out in the jungle, like a hundred feet from the floor. With monkeys and sloth and birds. Wait, is that the sloth right there? Oh, shit. No, that's not a sloth. But supposedly, so the guy told me that after this U-turn that's coming up in a little bit, there's a sloth on my left-hand side. So I'm, I'm looking for it, man. Hopefully I can find it. But seriously, man, I realize there's two type of people in this world, bro. You got the settlers and you got the nomads. The settlers, they just settle in and they're happy and they find their spot and they live their life happy there and that's cool. But me, I'm a freaking nomad. But where's this slot at, man? They said it was somewhere around here to the left, bro. I like to move, man. I like to stay active. I gotta see new things and new places and experience new stuff on the daily. Okay, we're coming up to the U-turn, man. He says something about on my left, there's a slot after the U-turn. Let me see, man, where the hell? Seriously, if I see the slot right now, that is gonna make my trip. I got some good news, guys. I see the freaking slot. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Hell yeah, I found the freaking slot. Check it out. My friend, look at the slot right there. You see him moving his head? Yeah, buddy. A freaking slot in the wild.
pura vida. Hey, did you see the slot? Yeah, I saw him. He looked like a teenager. Fifteen. He was by himself though. Yeah, yeah. But they, don't, they don't hang out in pairs anymore. No. Alright, by now, I must admit, I'm a little exhausted. I mean, it's been one week of straight up non-stop adventure. This is by far my most diverse trip ever and possibly my funnest travel of all time. But I don't want it to end just yet. Let me check out the beach one last time before I head home. stuff right here bro we're talking about just pull your car over to the side park in the most random spot and just explore bro. when i first came i was like what does everyone mean by puta vida i was like kind of i thought it was a little cliche like what does it mean but bro now i see what they mean <laughs> 